Until the end of the 1980s, houses had a healthy atmosphere inside because the unavoidable moisture in a house could escape in a natural way through the walls. But as a consequence of the inefficient insulation of those houses, this resulted in a rather high energy loss. The rising cost of oil, gas and electricity have made heating more and more expensive. This is why in the 1990s, highly insulated low energy houses and so-called passive houses appeared on the market with the aim of considerably reducing heating costs. But the intense insulation of the buildings also brought about quite a number of problems. As the insulation led to vapor-proof walls, the result was that smells and harmful substances, which are generated in each and every house, stayed inside. As a consequence, it was easy for mildew and mites to spread in the house, thus endangering the health of its occupants. This is why ventilation systems for dehumidification were developed. These systems withdraw the humid air from the inside of the house and replace it by drier outdoor air. But they tend to cause draught and strongly increase the danger of mold spores in ventilation pipes and filters being pumped into the breathing air. In addition, they consume electric energy and cause high maintenance costs. In order to avoid these disadvantages, the latest passive house generation makes use of our patented house-in-a-house house principle. It combines high thermal installation within a building shell, which is open to water vapor diffusion. The gaseous water vapor, which is a component part of any room air, diffuses as a dry gas free of condensed water through the warm inner shell of the house into the warm air space between the inner and the outer house. As the dry water vapor as a gas has only half the weight of air, it escapes because of its natural draft through a membrane in the roof. The well insulated inner house and the air cushion between the outer and the inner shells are heated by means of the partly transparent roofage and the winter garden. The greenhouse effect is generated by solar radiation or just daylight. During the summer, the inner house is kept cool by means of ventilation flaps mounted in the gable walls. The house in a house principle allows the humid air inside the house to be transported outside without energy loss or technical ventilation systems.